Many Australians, I'm sure many Queenslanders, may not be aware that there's currently an application before the Office of the Gene Technology Regulator for a company financed by Mr. Bill Gates called Oxitech to put into the environment genetically modified mosquitoes. Now they say here in their application, which was on the 13th of November, uh, 2024, that they want to engage in the commercial release of a genetically modified mosquito strain to help prevent dengue fever outbreaks. And they say here that the genetic modifications are the expression of a self-limiting gene to prevent female mosquito larvae from surviving to adulthood and the expression of a red fluorescent marker allowing for easy identification of a genetically modified mosquito. And it appears they want to do this. The proposed release uh, date is ongoing from the date of the issue of the license. So ongoing just appears to be forever. And what could possibly go wrong with such an experiment? Cane toads 2.0. And, and what's surprising that this group want to release these genetically modified mosquitoes in Australia is that Monash University is running a world mosquito program to eliminate dengue fever or to try and eliminate dengue fever uh, using non-genetically modified mosquitoes. And they stay here. Our self-sustaining, I'm quoting, so this is a quote directly from Monash University. Our self-sustaining safe Non-GMO and cost-effective method has been deployed in 13 countries over the past decade. And it says here, in the decade since implementation began in North Queensland, dengue has effectively been eliminated as a public health concern in the region. Now, if Monash University are saying that, why are we even considering an application from a firm financed by Mr Gates to release genetically modified mosquitoes in Queensland. Follow the links below, read more about this. You can make a submission to the Office of the Australian Gene Technology Regulator. But seriously, all Australians should have great concerns. We've seen what's happened in the past uh, about all the unintended consequences. And this looks exactly like a cane toad 2.0.